I was, I was really proud of him for hanging in there when that thing wasn't going in the hoop. And, you know, obviously we dug ourselves a hole and found a way to keep grinding and, and get out of it. I thought the ball movement was so much better in the second half tonight as well. Uh, you know, sometimes human nature with a new group of guys, when the ball's not going in the hoop, is to try to do it by yourself. So to go out there and share the ball much better in the second half resulted in some really good possessions. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, obviously it's huge for morale. Um, you know, it's been a couple somber days for our group. They have battled through it. I thought, um, you know, they we had a lot of physicality in the last two days of practice. And I thought it carried over tonight. Besides the first minute, I think they got four in the first minute. And after that, I think they got three the rest of the half. And then, um, you know, good thing we had two freshmen out there at the end of the game that, that really helped us uh, extend that lead and, and finish it off. I, I thought the key... Um, person this whole night was Eduardo. He just gave us such a spark uh, out there when we needed it most and, and really helped come in and control the glass. He got out in the passing lanes. He was active, uh, made his free throws, uh, just a really complete game. And I'm happy for him. He's been working his tail off. And you know, to get this opportunity is, uh, is something we talk to our guys about all the time, taking advantage of it when your name's called. And he certainly went out and had a huge impact on this win. Well, everything I just talked about. I mean, he just did a little bit of everything out there and, you know, had a couple of really good finishes that, that and one dunk. I was a huge momentum builder for us. And, uh, you know, again, when, when Eduardo goes out there protecting the rim, I, I just thought he did everything for us and, uh, you know, certainly was the key to this victory tonight. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, he, he, it really was an efficient night for Bryce and, uh, you know, hit a couple big ones, ran a couple plays for him coming off screens there at the end of the game and, and, um, and, and he knocked the shots down. You know, I thought he, uh, you know, had some really aggressive takes to the basket as well. Uh, you know, you can see his confidence grow. You can see his confidence grow throughout this game and hopefully we, he can carry this over and continue to get better and better. <clears throat> I thought we had some good looks at the rim early, and we just we missed a lot of shots there that we normally would make. Lat missed a couple open threes that he's going to make moving forward uh, as he gets his timing back from not being out there much in practice. So um, you know we're, we're going to take the lid off this thing. We got too many weapons, we got too many shooters. Uh, but the thing about tonight is you know we grinded one out when that thing wasn't going in the basket, and you have to have those. Um, but again, with the ball movement, the second half, when we really got that thing moving, that's when, that's when we had good possessions. <clears throat> Yeah, he, we did. We put him down there, you know, for two reasons. One, to work on finishes over bigs. Uh, we just did a lot of war, re, the old middle school war rebound drill. We threw that thing up and have three guys go up and fight each other. And whoever gets it, you know, goes up and tries to score it. So, um, you know, Trey embraced it. He's doing a great job, uh, you know, understanding his role. He's guarding. Uh, thought he was tremendous on the ball. In the pick and roll, we dropped his pickup point a little bit. Just I thought we were getting a little bit spread out, but you know, overall Trey has uh, has been phenomenal, especially in the leadership category. He's he's been our vocal leader out there, trying to keep guys together when things maybe aren't going great. <laughs> yeah, it you know it's very important to uh, try to manufacture points, and you know, in the uh, what did we shoot thirty two percent I think in the first half. So you know. Getting to the line, um, you know, we knew they were a team that was going to reach in and gamble, and they were very physical. Uh, I think they were 12th in the nation in creating turnovers last year, but they were also a very high foul uh, rate team. So, you know, we knew we had to be strong with the ball. 11 turnovers against this team is pretty good, uh, you know, and then again, to be strong with the ball and get to the free throw line is very important. Well, they got a rebound, an offensive rebound on a free throw and, and hit a three on it and we had a smaller group out there so uh you know just wanted to put a big lineup we, we feel good wilhelm plays a lot of four in practice with eduardo on that second group and i thought those two gave us a huge lift together out there you know really i guess three freshmen with eduardo's still being considered that and then um wilhelm and and uh and bryce out there as true freshmen so yeah getting our young guys some really good quality um minutes and good, good experience out there <coughs> Decision 
Well, we're, I just talked to him. And, you know, we're going to have a good film session <clears throat> on uh, on Sunday. Just you know, make sure we see where the outlets are. You know, he's got such a scorer's mentality, and he's such a talented basketball player. He can make tough shots, but we don't always need that. And you know, that's part of the growth and learning curve as he plays pretty much exclusively with the ball in his hands, where he has played more off the ball uh, early on in his career. So just you know, make sure he's got that mentality. He's a very capable passer that shows by the seven assists. Um, you know, it's just about going out there and making sure we make the right play, make the right read, and get a good quality shot on the board. Does that just take time? Yeah, I mean, it takes time. And again, you know, now that the lights are on and this is a full game experience, you know, it's not in a closed um, uh, practice gym. It's not an exhibition. Uh, you know, now that it's out there, it counts. We got to go out and play the same way. And you know, that was a thing the other night. I just thought we were too. Uh, too ISO heavy, too individual, and we showed signs at times of doing that again tonight. But when we moved it, and that's the great thing, we'll go back and watch it all. And, and when we moved the ball and got the defense shifted side to side, we were pretty darn good. All right, thanks, guys.